Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, we are again back with another interesting topic for you. And in this video, we are going to create a real-time location tracker. And we will be using OpenStreetMap, which is open source and free of cost. If you decide to use uh, Google Map or some other maps, uh, it will come with some cost. So that's the reason we are using this open source map. And we will use leaflet.js in order to render this map. We will use the GPS permission, location permission of the browser in order to track where the uh, current user is browsing this page from. And we will plot a marker on uh, this exact location that the user is currently surfing from. Okay, so without wasting any, any time, let's get started. Let's start with some HTML. I will call it real-time location tracker. So what I need here is, I will need to include some CDN, right? So to use the leaflet, I will need leaflet CSS. I will include leaflet CSS here and also I will need the leaflet JS. This one is for rendering the map. It's not a link, it will be a script tag with SRC, this one. Okay, so we have included the leaflet successfully. Now I can go with the HTML. Let us design something here. Class equals header. And I will call it something like location real time, location tracker. Also, I will have a div with class coordinates. And I'll provide it ID as well, the same ID so that I can update it from the JavaScript later on. What I will say here is acquiring location. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's what I wanted. And after header, I will need a space for the map. So I call it ID as map. That's it. I think we should be done with the HTML now. Let me style it to make it look good. So I will start with the body tag. Let's use font family of sans serif and background of blue. Okay, I don't like this color actually. So let me go with some other uh, blue. I think cornflower blue. That should work. Yeah, this. Okay, this is fine. Now let's go to the header. I'll make it a color of white and text align center. Yeah. Okay. And what next? For the H1 inside the header. Let me give it a font size of 1.9 REM. Font weight of bold. And probably margin 0. If I don't give it a margin, it will be fine. Okay, it's fine. Not bad. So for the coordinates, I will give it a font size of some less value, which could be 0 0.9 REM. Maybe that should be enough. Not bad. Okay, let's go with this one. And finally for the map, let me give it a background color of something like ddd for now and height 70 vh width probably 90 percent yeah so now i can design it properly what i will do i'll do it margin zero auto to make it at the center great and what next maybe i'll go with box shadow zero 5px, 10px. And I don't need the background now. Okay. This is good. And also what I can do for the header, I will give it margin bottom up 20px. Yeah, not bad. So what we are going to do, we are going to load map over here, right? So first let me go through the JavaScript, okay? What I will do here is, 
I will grab the current latitude and longitude of this user. I mean, the user in this case is me myself. So where I am surfing this website from, I'll get the latitude and longitude using the navigator property provided by the browser. So if navigator dot geolocation, we can find the coordinates over here. So if there, if there is no navigator dot geolocation, what it means is this browser does not support the geolocation, right? So I can say geolocation not supported by this browser so that user knows exactly what's wrong here and if it supports then i can get it from geolocation dot get current position current position and it will be in position so not an arrow function here so what i can do i can now grab the latitude and longitude so latitude would be position dot coordinates dot latitude similarly longitude will be dot longitude so i have both latitude and longitude and what i can do now i can uh, show the latitude and longitude over here how will i do that document dot get element by id coordinates dot text content equals something so the text content would be probably dollar latitude comma dollar longitude something like this let's see if it works it's a still acquiring location yeah see this is the latitude and this is the longitude so it's working perfectly maybe this should be 1.1 rem okay this looks good now maybe i can change the color of it to something like uh, ddd will that work okay it's not good actually so maybe ccc would work no i need to be on the lighter side so e this would be perfect right so we are done with this section what i can see here is i can also say longitude no this is the latitude is this one and longitude is this one so that it will be clear nice or even what i can do here is i can add a paragraph tag that could be a better option let's see oh no it's not text content right it's inner html if i'm adding the html okay not bad now i can load the map right so for the map what i will do after this one i'll initialize the map with leaflet dot map i need a map with set view i need to set the view on the exact location that user is right now so latitude and longitude longitude with a zoom level of um let's go with 15 zoom level right now and see if it works it's acquiring location still so now we have got the location and i have loaded the map but i'm not sure why it's blank right now oh this is because i have not added the layer so i need to add the layer what i will do here is l dot and that means leaflet dot tile layer it's tile layer okay i need to add some layer to add to this map great and the layer it's, it is provided in the documentation of leaflet but i i actually remember it let's try if this works it should be yes dot tile dot tile dot open street map 
www.org/jed/x/y.png actually you don't need to remember this one you can find it in the official documentation but since i remember it i can use it and see we are getting the map right so i can zoom out and see the whole world map here okay great so and it has zoomed in the actual region that i am currently in i'm currently browsing this web page from so i need a marker to place at the exact location so i'll add a marker here marker equals l dot marker leaflet dot marker at the position latitude and longitude dot add to this map let's see if it works see it has added a marker at the exact position that i am currently in if you browse this web page from your location this will be at your location exactly at your location right so i also need to add up you know some information here to add, so i'll bind a pop-up pop-up i can say your current location and open pop-up by default let's see if it works acquiring location after it acquires location it will show me your current location great so if i'm zooming too much what i can do here is i can change this value to maybe probably four see now it's fine so you you know where i am surf browsing this website from i mean the web page so if you are browsing from any other parts of the world this marker will be exactly at your location great so and you have the control of the zoom level as well great now what i need to do is if i you know keep on moving from this place to the other place i need to have the real time update right as we say here real time location tracker this is just for the one time if i open this web page and then travel from here to maybe new york then what it will do it will just stay on this location the marker so i need to make it real time let's do that what i will do here is navigator dot get location i'll just keep on checking the location so i'll call it watch position function new position so if it finds a new position then what it should do it should get the new latitude equals new position dot coordinates dot latitude same thing like we did before and for the new longitude longitude great now we just need to update the marker right marker dot set lat long at new lat comma new longitude and then again set the map view because the map ne might need to uh, you know scale basis on the basis of where you are so it will set view at the new location sorry new lat new long great so let's see well we cannot see it right now because i am using it from the laptop and i need to travel in order to show you the same thing let's see if it works it's currently working what i can show you here is let me give it you know different latitude longitude for first time and then see if it you know changes the position or not so i'll give a latitude and longitude of different place maybe latitude and longitude of germany let's go to germany now so this is the latitude i will provide this latitude here and longitude will be this one this is of the germany so let's see if it goes to germany yeah right but what i need to make sure is it gets to my uh, original position afterwards let's see if there is any request okay i'm i have some error here let's get to the error geolocation dot 
what position function new position this is good okay so what is the error here let's see what it says cannot read properties of undefined watch position it means this is undefined it's it's not get location it is geolocation right so i'm currently in oh you can see here when i refresh it shows me in germany and right away it tracks my original location and sets me to the original location it means our this this code block of code is working perfectly i can remove it now if you travel you will all obviously see the updated or your recent location in real time see okay so hope you guys enjoyed this video actually you can make a lot of interesting things with this uh, tool you can you know track your uh, travel history and uh, you know save it for your future reference as well you can uh, you know get to know where your uh, dear ones your friends or your family members are currently in with this easy tool right so hope you guys enjoyed it very much uh, please subscribe us for more interesting and useful videos like this this much for today and let me remind you that i have provided a link in the video description where you can find all the source code and that we did in this video so this much for today cheers guys